Hey everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mel Copeland and I'm a newborn photographer in Ontario, Canada. I've been photographing newborns for six years and have 20 years of experience in graphic design. Over the past year, I started making my own actions and presets and I'm so excited to share them with you. Introducing the Skin Smoothie Bar Newborn Actions and Presets. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I edit with them. So let's get started. So about a year ago, I was having a major crisis with my camera, my Canon R6, and um, I wasn't happy with the colors it was producing. A lot of my images look really flat and cool, and I, I didn't know what I was doing wrong. I've been doing this for a long time, and all of a sudden, I just hated my work. So I thought it would be fun to take one of those images and edit it here with you today. A little embarrassing story during this crisis I was having I actually um, was like so done with Canon I wanted to sell it all and switch over to Nikon I actually bought a Nikon D850 um, I started using it and quickly realized that that wasn't the route that I wanted to go uh, either so I um, sold that. I think I had it for like maybe a week or something, realized I made a mistake, and I came crawling back to Canon. I didn't sell my Canon. I kept it all. I just wanted to kind of run some tests with um, the Nikon. And anyway, I ended up falling in love with my camera again. Um, anyone else who shoots with the Canon R6 um, a little tip, uh, I was shooting too cool. As you can see right here, this image was shot at 5950 Kelvin, um, and I now shoot at 6900, I believe, um, because I find that when you shoot warmer, it's a lot easier to pull uh, the warm tones down into a nice peachy skin tone, um, and when you shoot too cool uh, as you can see here you get a lot of like gray tones and those are really really difficult to fix in post so here we are let's get started um, so we're gonna go over here and throw a preset on I'm gonna go to my smoothie pack here and I am going to use Primer 2, and I'm just going to warm it up a little bit because that is a little cool. And I'm just going to check my highlights. Um, I tend to push my highlights, the exposure, up to about 245 to 250 because when I open it up in Photoshop, um, it tends to go down a little bit. So I think that's pretty good. Okay, there we go. So let's open it up in Photoshop and work some magic. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the content aware tool. Just get rid of this background. And the first thing I always start with is like the larger flakes and stuff. So I'm just gonna use the content aware to get rid of all of this. Sometimes I use the click and drag method. Sometimes I will select multiple spots at once and hit delete and enter and boom, gone. Depending on what it is. She had a bit of milk down here, so let's just get rid of this. I'm just going to do a really quick job here so you get the idea. Okay. And then um so we're going to open the set. Oops, got it. 
Where are my actions? And I personally like to work in button mode so that I can see all the pretty colors. So here we are. I'm just gonna pull that down a little bit. Okay. So the first, um, so I designed these so that you can use them uh, from top to bottom. Um, there may be some things that you don't want to use and that's totally okay. You can kind of pick and choose whatever your favorites are, but I'm just going to show you my workflow. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, um, just type them in the comments. So I'm going to run the pulp extract and this is meant to like get rid of um, little flakes and stuff, which I probably could have used um, around her chin, but it, it wouldn't have gotten rid of like the big flakes. And I used my brush at about 80%. I um, also just want to say that I use a lot of short keys, so if you see me like not going up to the um, the menus up at the top to like change my brush sizes and stuff like that, I'm, I'm doing everything on the keyboard. So here, as you can see, it just kind of gets rid of those little white flakes, just the small ones. I tend to keep the, um, the milia or whatever it's called on the nose, so all newborns have that. Okay, and I'm gonna flatten. There is a flatten button here. Oh no. Okay, well, we're just gonna use the flatten button. Uh, I haven't started my computer. It's been sitting here for like a year. I use my laptop a lot, so um, yeah, so it. I need to set up my short keys again. Um, yeah, okay, so let's move on to the avocado mask. And this basically just evens out the skin tone. It kind of like deblotches it um, and smooths it a little bit. So we're just gonna do that real quick. I use a fairly large brush and just go over all the larger skin areas. Looks pretty good. Okay, and I'm going to flatten that again. All right. And um, I'm not really gonna touch her eyelids too much. Um, those were like stork bites, I think. So I'll just leave those alone. I'll use a little red remover on them after. Then I'm gonna use the yogurt and flax. Um, this is a smooth, a smoothing brush, but it keeps uh, some texture. So we want our baby's skin to look as realistic as possible, not too smooth, doll-like. So I just put this on the larger areas like the forehead and the cheeks, um, sometimes a little bit on the chin, but that's pretty good to me. You can also use it on baby's body a little bit, although this is pretty creamy because I shot it pretty wide open. So, okay, we're gonna flatten that. Um, and she is a little bit red and pink in the face, so I'm going to use the, the color correctors on the beet extract. This is for more extreme reds, so we're going to try this on her eyelids a little bit. I don't know why it's being slow. There we go. Okay, there we go. Above the lip, I find, always has a little bit of red to it. Um, I'm just going to drop the opacity of my brush down to about 50 and go over these areas here. And she has a little spot on her back right there, so I'm just going to touch that real quick. Okay, so um, a little tip with red removers. I tend to stay on the, the lit side of her face. I wouldn't use it too much on the shadow side right here. Um, I find it it takes away... Uh, too much of the, the skin pigment and your your photo can look a little washed out so um, stick to the, 
this the forehead above the lip the chin and this side wherever your light is so let's flatten that um, you can also try the strawberry extract that's uh, more for like pink tones so if you can use both if you'd like I, I do um, quite a bit actually there we go she's a little bit pink back here and I also see some blue kind of gray tones here so we're gonna use the whoops we're gonna use we're gonna flatten that and we're going to use the blueberry extract which is going to warm up the skin a little bit only on the areas that need it okay so you can see a little before and after adding a little little bit of color back in I'm just gonna bring that down just a little bit maybe a little right here too okay and we're gonna flatten that again and then um, she's lit pretty well, but I'm just going to show you what uh, Hemp Hearts does. It just, if you um, need to add a little more light to the forehead, you can do that. Before and after. Eh, maybe I'll leave it. I'm going to flatten that and then. I'm going to add a little bit of chia seeds, add shadow just on the cheek side. So just this little line right here where your your shadows hit. I'm just going to deepen them. And boom, whoops. Oh my gosh, I really need to fix that. Flatten. So now we're going to add a little bit of lip and cheek. Um, my favorite is goji berry they're all really nice but i find this one is just my favorite so i'm just gonna add a little bit of that the lips and only on the shadow cheek this is just how i do it um i just like how it looks i find if you try to add it on the um the lit side over here uh it's not really going to show up it's going to show up better on your on your cheek on your shadow side so we're going to flatten that and then um, one of the biggest things I found with my camera, the Canon R6, with the flatness of the photos, sometimes you get like uh, kind of bluish grayish tones. Um, so I created this vitamin C brighten and pop um, to add a little bit of life back to the photo. So let's run that. And I will change my brush to 50% and we're just gonna pop that on the whole baby and I don't know if you can see this but it's adding like some color back into her so let's do a little off and on boom look at that and you can uh, adjust this to your taste I usually bring it down a little bit um, but you're gonna see I do this first and then I'll run the almond milk which raises the the mid-tones um and it it will tone down the vitamin c so let's flatten that and then so these ones are more for like if you've got like a, a prop shot with some floor you can paint some dark and light um just to make baby pop uh, and the hazelnut, hazelnut cream floor paint is to kind of soften your floors a little bit. So I'm going to just bypass those. Um, I'll show them to you on a different photo. And we're just going to run almond milk. Let's see how it just like... Just made everything a little bit brighter. Um, it's a little bit too bright. So I'm just going to bring it down a smidge. I'm liking this. Perfect. I'm going to flatten that. And then I'm going to run Sharpen the Deets. And I just brushed this on the lips. Whoops, I'm going to put it back to 80%. Lips and eyes. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. Flatten. 
and now I'm going to pick a finisher. I, I made two finishers. Um, the matcha finish is what I use on the majority of my images, but I'm going to run it. And if it doesn't show up, um, I, I find it works better on like the moodier images. So um, this cream drop might not work so well with it, but I'll try it. And if not, we're going to we're going to use the coconut cream. So let's see if that did anything. Usually you can see it in the shadows. It's not really... I'll, I'll show you... Um, I'll, sh I'll run it on another image. Um, but I'm going to just delete that one. And we're going to use coconut. Okay, and it just adds that little bit of like a haze. Um, I like a little haze finish on my images. Okay, and I'm going to show you something as well. If you don't want that hazy finish on baby's face, uh, what you can do is turn it into a brush. Um, you just click on the coconut cream finish, and then you're going to go down here and you're going to click on this add layer mask. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to hit the X on the keyboard so that we've got the black brush and that is going to brush off of the face. So I'm just going in this little area right here. Um, I'm going to leave the shadow because I like the haze in the shadow, but I'm just going to get it off of the lit part of her face and flatten and voila. And if you want to get fancy, um, you can also uh, take make a new layer. So Command J, and then you want to take like uh, a color here from from the middle, and set your brush to twenty percent, and then just kind of brush on, just to you know get rid of those little bumps right here. So we're just gonna blend it in and over here I find too just where the light hits sometimes you get a little shadow here so we're just gonna brush this on and then we're gonna take our eraser at 100% and brush it off of the baby Ooh, that is really hard okay um we need a soft brush <laughs> As I said, I have not used this computer. Oh God, what is happening? Oh, there we go. Okay, wow. Um, I think this is good now, so. Let's get that off the baby. Whoopsie. Okay, and just click off the layer, make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh yeah, right here. Okay, awesome. Okay, and we're going to flatten that. Flatten. All right. Now, let's just for fun, take a little screen capture, and then we're going to go to the before and the after. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions at all about how to use these presets and actions, please comment below, or you can find me on social media at Mel Copeland Photo. I will tag it below. These presets and actions are on sale right now. I am so excited. I am giving 50% off until Monday, November 28th. Use code smoothie50 at checkout. I will post the link below. Go get you some. Take care, guys.